Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making another 100% coconut oil soap and I will share the recipe that I'm using today in the description box below. It is fantastic. It lathers like a dream and one of the great things about coconut oil soap is it lathers in salt water so you can take it to the beach or out on a boat or if you're a seafaring person it's good for that and it made me think of this fragrance that I got which is why I was thinking of all of this. It's Beach by Bobby Brown type. So be scented. Um, it smells great. It really does smell beachy, almost like a suntan, lotion-y, coconut-y. I just thought it was fabulous. Made me think of coconut oil soap, so that's what I'm doing. And with the beach, it made me think of the ocean, so I'm gonna just go, gonna do a blue swirl in this soap. And for my colors, I'll be using Proud Peacock from Nurture Soap. This is one of my favorite blues. I love this color. And I'll be using Island Sunset Mica, which is kind of a, just a light blue, sky blue color. So those will be the blue swirls in this. Uh, for my liquid portion, I'll use aloe vera juice and coconut milk powder, because to me that just sort of goes with the whole theme. And with silk fibers will be in there, I will put some cane sugar in my liquid portion before I add the lye to boost the bubbles up even more. So the recipe that I'm using today is going to have a 20% super fat on it because coconut oil uh, in a soap as a part of a soap recipe is more of the cleansing oil in there. It can be a little bit drying if um, the ratios are off. but Coconut oil by itself is a very moisturizing oil, and with a 20% super fat in this bar, this is now a moisturizing bar. It's a bar soap, it'll get you clean. I can't claim that it's moisturizing, but it, it's not a drying bar. <laughs> it now becomes a more luxury bar with the 20%, so that's why it's in there. So if you take the recipe that I'm using for my mold today and size it down, just use a 20% super fat on whatever size you're doing, and you'll be good to go. So that's it, let me get my hair pulled back, get everything pulled together, and let's make some wonderful beachy inspired coconut soap. I've got all my coconut oil melted here and I'm about to add my uh, powder additives, but I wanted to show you the kind of coconut oil I'm using today. I just got this at Costco. I think you can get it online. This is Kirkland brand, but um, Walmart has an organic brand. It's a really good price for wonderful organic coconut oil and it soaps like a dream. So, um, and this, container here is what is it it's not quite enough this is 84 ounces in here so it took two of these or one and a half of these to get the volume for the recipe that's down below um, but again just run it through a soap calculator you don't have to do the volume I'm doing today um, so anyway that's the coconut oil and here's my coconut milk powder that I thought just really went with the beachy theme and coconut you know and it, it's wonderful. So this little scoop here is a tablespoon and that's a nice rounded one and I'll add a little more here. That's about two tablespoons worth. And then here is my kaolin clay and this is going to be an oat free soap so I'm not adding oats to this. I have a girlfriend that's allergic to oats and every once in a while I like to make a soap with no oats so that she has some options. <laughs> so. I'm going to get these blended in and we'll get the fragrance right in here um, and let this sort of anchor and absorb in. I like to let the dry ingredients just get fully absorbed and what do you want to say, saturated, that's what I'm thinking of. And I've got everything here is cooled off and ready to go in my aloe mixture I have cane sugar and uh, Tussa Silk Fibers. That's what's going on in here. And again, this coconut milk, or coconut soap gets so hard, I don't need to add sodium lactate. Um, these bars get so nice and hard. Um, they're just wonderful. So, I'll add this in. And I'm soaping at about um, 85 degrees. 85 to 90 is what these were. Let me tell you this fragrance, this Beach by Bobbi Brown type, it smells like suntan lotion to me, which is nostalgic. I think it's a great smell. So if you like old fashioned copper tone, that sort of coconutty smell, you'll love this. 
Um, if you don't like it, <laughs> it might not be the one for you, but I think it's great. It's, it's a nostalgic smell for me. There we go. Get an emulsion here. Pull this out and split off to our colors, and then I can stick one more if I need to. In about 24 hours and let's get into this awesome beachy coconut oil so it smells fantastic today so that's very encouraging swirls and see how it's looking on the inside it was kind of thick when I did the in the pot swirl but I think it's really pretty it's very kind of wispy and they smell fantastic so let's keep cutting and see if it gets more swirly in the middle got these all beveled up and ready to stamp and I just wanted to say the reason I have gloves on for this is because of the high super fat they have a very shiny surface and I don't want to leave any fingerprints so that's why I have rubber gloves on for this um, it's just a aesthetic thing so to stamp soaps here I'm gonna get them all lined up they're already beveled and ready to go and I'll show you how I do my stamping So I've got this stamp and I'll have a link below where I got this on Etsy. Um, 
I take my rubbing alcohol and I just mist it and that just helps release it from the soap. You don't have to do that, but this is just what works for me. This is what I've found. So I get it placed on my bar and I'll give a gentle tap and then another to see how it feels until I get the feel for how firm it is. And I can usually get a couple of stamps off of one spritzing with the alcohol. There we go, and there. And it makes a nice crisp impression. And then I will spritz it again and do a couple more.